Uh, my name's Phil Salzman. I'm with Apollo Environmental. And uh, I'm a project manager and part owner of the company. Great. Now let us know what you're doing up here. Uh, we're taking out the associated cribbings around this, uh, I guess, hopper building that went into the mine. How long have you guys been working on this? A couple of weeks. A couple, couple of weeks. weeks. And you said you've taken about 100 truckloads out About 100 here? truckloads. Yeah. We're nearly finished. And um, what necessitates this kind of project? Why do you have to go and take rock out of the mountain? Oh, that, that I don't know. We were just asked to remove the cribbings. Okay. You so know. You just come and remove whatever you're asking they, they had a lot of uh, salvage metal here and pipe uh -huh. that they wanted removed. And these cribbings around the building. Oh, okay. Now, he's wearing a, a white suit there. He's got um, a mask. Tell us a little bit about that, why that's, you wear just, that? that's just uh, standard personal protective equipment uh -huh. that you wear in these dusty wow. kind of environments uh -huh. in, the, in soils that have heavy metals. Okay. And you had six people on the job site? Yes. Is that right? Yes. And you basically um, just excavated the raw? Excavated the cribbings out around the building. And the land underneath it as well? The, the stuff that the cribbings was holding, that's okay. what we're finishing. Okay. Right, well, we expect to be done in a couple, two, three days. Probably by Monday, the way it looks. Was it a pretty uh, cut and dry project? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just m remove the metal salvage and the cribbings. Okay. Yeah. Do you, where are you taking it to? They have a temporary cell over at their water treatment unit. That okay. They, you just dump it there and then you're done with it? Yeah, we spread it out in that cell. Uh -huh. It's contained in that cell. Now a cell means it's an earthen cell that they built to put these kind of materials in. Oh, okay. Were there any special challenges that you faced no. here in this project? No, we took out the upper cribbing. That was a little time consuming because you can't get to it with standard equipment. Oh. We had to pull it down with a cable hooked to the excavator down here because you couldn't just walk up to it. But all the rest of it was just standard excavating. Excavate it and load it. We do a lot of coastal erosion work down in the Gulf Coast area and earth construction, moving dirt, okay. a lot of environmental remediation work. We work in the refineries down in the south, all over the country. Well, what kind of, do you know what kind of heavy metals were in this, were in these tailings or? I've never seen any of the analysis. I've worked with this material before. Yeah. It would be the standard recreate metals lead, cadmium, arsenic, zinc. I don't know. Right. But it's standard mine, what comes with mine tailings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zinc and cadmium are the big ones, right? Right here. Uh, you know, I don't know what their big is here. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of times lead is the driver. Uh